I guess there is a new keto bar flavor, but I do not see it yet. These are all ones we have had before. What are you doing? Why do you have a pot? Because we're gonna do keto bars. Okay, what's the new flavor? There is no new flavor. Keto bars has, this is hot water. I'm gonna put this over here. They have some hot chocolate now. So we have two oh kinds. Oh my goodness. Keto hot cocoa and keto vanilla spice. Yum. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So Keto Bars. I love Keto Bars. They're the original. They're this the is first the ones. original. As a matter of fact, when I first got started on Keto, this was even before before Rachel got started on yeah. keto, I ordered them because it was it. There was, I was researching like meal replacement bars on keto and this was the only thing and this is not what the packaging looked no, like. No, they looked a little scary, honestly. It came in like a takeout food container box wrapped in plastic and I remember looking at it being like, um, they're obviously making them in their house, but this is delicious. Yeah, I mean, it, it looked like it was being made in someone's basement, but that was okay. The best part was, I didn't have to share them because Rachel wasn't doing keto yet. No, but once I tried them, once I went on keto and I tried them, honestly, they have always remained up there as my very favorite bars. Yeah, and the ingredients are super clean. They're very, very filling. This is one of the few bars where you're gonna eat one and be very satisfied. I mean, there's yeah. other bars out there that I like. They're great. But when I finish them, I'm like, can I have another one, please? And this one is not the case. This one is very high in fat and it tastes delicious, clean ingredients, but we're not here to talk about bars. We're gonna talk about a new product that they have. I cannot believe that they're venturing out. I'm excited. Okay, so now let's start off with this. This is not the original or the final packaging. This is like a pre-production packaging. Okay. So John and the gang were nice enough to send it to us early. Thanks guys. So we get to taste this. We actually got to hang out with them last year at KetoCon. Such I'm nice kind folks. of upset that we didn't get to hang out with them this year. You got a tattoo on your face to get a free box. That's I, how much these were good, right? I, I will do those sort of things. <laughs> So uh, we have two flavors here. We have a keto hot cocoa, and we have a keto vanilla spice. I love this. We're gonna put these off to the side a little bit. When are these coming out? Now these, we're gonna talk about that, and we're gonna do a whole five things, but these are actually being released on Black Friday. So there's gonna be a link down below that you can use. I don't know if they're gonna be in sale. I know they're releasing on Black Friday. Now, Keto Bars doesn't do sales very often. They sell Usually, these too? they are selling those. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but they don't do sales, really. There's no coupon codes available for them because they do price everything pretty cheaply. Very reasonable. So they usually do a Black Friday sale. I don't know what it's gonna be. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we will release a video once we do know. But there is a link down below to purchase this stuff. If you use that link, it does help support the channel and we greatly appreciate that. Stocking stuffers. Are you ready? Yes, I'm okay, ready. Okay, so where do we want to start? So I have another mug. <laughs> the office. And we're going to do this right. And keto bars. Okay, she sent me a thing. You're gonna add this with eight ounces of water. Now normally I would add more water. But I like to taste it. But we it. want to taste it the way it's supposed to be tasted. Exactly. Let me have those scissors over there. You're so not gonna what are we nod doing? open with your teeth? I'm not gonna open my teeth. So what I know treat. about where eight ounces in these cups are. Okay. Don't spill it, because it's piping hot. It is hot. This nice. one's actually a little bit more than eight ounces, but I'm not gonna dump it out. Okay, so which one we trying first? Vanilla spice or keto hot cocoa? Okay, I feel like the hot cocoa is gonna be the one that's got to be the definitive because this is- So we're is, gonna start with this. This is what you're comparing it to is, does it, is this a good cocoa? Right, so we're gonna start with vanilla spice. Okay. Ooh. Let me smell. Ooh. There is for real a spice in that. Now, uh, Alyssa from Keto Bars did send me a message saying that this has spices in it, like cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff like that. It smells like a pumpkin spice. And so spice they're almost. not going to like, 
you know, go into the water and mix, it's gonna give a flavor, but they may be floating up on the top. But oh. you're gonna get flavor in the drink, but you know, they're not going to, you know, blend into the water completely. So that's we, part of the thing about using real ingredients. We use Redmond Real Salts. We're used to like things being like a different color, something floating around. Yeah. I'm sorry. learning. See, like half full of water. And don't put it on like ceiling fan fast. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you can see. It's kind of like you ever have like an eggnog and the nutmeg and the, you know, it all floats on the top. That's what's happening here. It's a real ingredient, like you said. Yeah. It's different. I mean, they could use artificial ingredients or but natural flavors, but it's not gonna be the same. Do you wanna go first? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. my gosh. Wow. So let me tell you what you're gonna do with this. You're gonna put it into a travel mug and go shop at Joanne Fabrics or Michaels with it. Oh right? my gosh. I want to go buy craft things. I want to go shopping with that in my mug. If you miss things like eggnog, now we have a recipe for keto eggnog. I gotta go But if again. you miss things like eggnog or, I used to, when I lived in New York, warm milk with some spices in it. Oh, oh my, my gosh. I would like this, please. They Thank have you. nailed that. I nailed just, I it. I just wanna drink that right now. I okay. seriously do too. Let's go to hot chocolate. Now there's a lot of cinnamon in that. There is a lot of cinnamon. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead with the hot chocolate. All right. Ooh. Can we open it? Here we go. It did it. No teeth involved. I'm always impressed by that. Okay, I'm actually gonna do this. Ready? While it's going in. Teamwork makes the dream work. Don't lose any. Wow, I have high hopes for this because that was delicious. Okay, now I know it's supposed to be ladies first, but you got that one first. Yeah. So it's my turn. Men first. Don't make a face, good or bad. That makes Swiss Miss taste like garbage. Wow. Like wow. that is like homemade I hot chocolate, milk hot chocolate. I am so glad they nailed this. That is awesome. I am so glad. Got it's got a good salt level to it. They have a picture on their website of this. Mm. Wow. Is that the strawberry one? That's this my favorite. Is the strawberry the one. Keto Connect chocolate and strawberry. Do like half and then do the other half in the chocolate. Let's try that. Keto bars. I freaking love those things. And they're like desserty. If you're dips a well. If you're a dessert person, you know, some people want their bars working like almost like a, a Stoka bar. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's more like a meal bar, mm -hmm. not too sweet. Honestly. Dessert. I have to hide these for myself. Mm -hmm. I hide them in the freezer because mm -hmm. like they're so rich. They taste so delicious. Wow. And I, you don't have to freeze them. These are one of the few things like you can take these camping and they're not gonna melt. They're, they're yeah. very shelf stable. They really are. I keep them in the freezer because they, number one, I forget that they're there. But number two, they take me longer to eat. But they are very, very rich in filling. They but very, they really are. Let's get into this five. Which one are you keeping? I kind of want this because it's so okay, different. Okay, one more second. It is so different. It's like pumpkin spice, but it's vanilla. Yeah. I'm, I haven't tasted anything like this before. Okay, so five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we're gonna review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, Number now one. again, Brand this new. is pre-production packaging. This is not what the packaging is gonna look like. I have the ingredients on the website here and I will put them up here. So the ingredients, we're gonna start with chocolate. Coconut oil powder, which is coconut oil and soluble corn fiber. And I did actually talk to Chris from Keto Chow because he researched it. They're using the good soluble corn fiber. They're right. not using, it's being bound to that. Mm -hmm. So they're not using like wonky stuff that's actually like, you know, bad for you. Uh, and then sodium castanate, which is a milk derivative. Then you have sunflower lecithin and silicon dioxide. Then you have non-GMO erythritol, which I do not taste erythritol at all. I don't either. Collagen peptides, cocoa powder, processed with alkali, salt, and then non-GMO stevia. So that's that one. 
Then we have this flavor here. It is coconut oil powder, which is coconut oil and soluble corn fiber, sodium cassonate, which is a milk uh, derivative, sunflower lecithin, silicon dioxide, and then we have non-GMO erythritol, collagen peptides, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, salt, and non-GMO stevia. Not one of those flavors is missing. I taste them Emory. all. And honestly, it is uh, close to almost like a chai latte. That's yeah. kind of what it reminds me but of. But creamier. Yes, creamier. But, but not a tea. It's it's a very milky. of a chai milk. Yeah. Very milky. Okay, number two. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? I know you usually do these, but I'm but going it's over, over there here. By you. So chocolate first. 200 calories per package, mm -hmm. 18 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, 13 total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, eight grams of erythritol, zero net carbs. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, I think it's a great treat. Now I am gonna say before I even get into the other one, well, we can get to it when we do yeah. the taste. Okay, on the other one, 180 calories, 16 grams of fat, six grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, and that is going to make that, oh, um, and then eight, what is that, eight? Eight grams of erythritol. So we've got one net carb. One net carb, which is going to be the spices. That's what's giving you that net yes. carb. Okay, it keto's based on a nutrition label. It does. Number three, how do they taste? Honestly, I've had a lot of, you know, as we've had people who get to review things, we've tried a lot drinks. of keto hot chocolates, and um, this is the best. And I'm even gonna say this, and I know I'm gonna get a text message when I say this and he sees this, Uh oh. but that beats keto chow chocolate warmed up. Wow. Right, I'm that sorry, is something it, to it say. does. Like keto chow chocolate warmed up is my go-to hot chocolate, mm -hmm. that's better. Wow, it but is it's better. But it is specifically taste wise. It's specifically for that. Yes, it's but it taste wise, it it is awesome. I love the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I really do. But this is so decadent and fancy tasting that if you do not have a problem with cinnamon, I highly recommend this one. And again, this one here, I added too much water. I know originally I probably added ten to twelve ounces, but I just wanted to give it a little taste. Man, watered down a little bit. It is delicious, and man, this this feels like a fancy coffee house drink. Yeah, it really. Now does. again, we drank half of the cup already. Yep. And I just added like another two ounces of water, and it's still pretty chocolatey. So if you would have done that right at the beginning of the package, here's the thing. I don't feel the need to add anything to it. And that's a big test for me. No so, sweetener. No, I don't need any extra sweetener and I have a sweet tooth for sure. So the fact that I don't need to make this milkier, I don't need to add any sweetener to it. It tastes delicious right out of the package with water. Mm -hmm. That's a big one for me. Okay, so number four, how much do they cost? Okay. okay. So I'm gonna like go a, back on their website. I have a hair that is like, Again, you know, these are releasing right your eyeball. on Black Friday. Okay. Okay. The 27th, I believe it is. You can get either one of them, 12 servings, and it is $24.95 for 12 servings. So, so that's $2, just over $2 a serving. They may be on sale on Black Friday. I don't know. Now, you can also get this on subscribe and save. And that's gonna drop the price just a wow. little bit. Uh, and it drops down to, I believe it's $22.95. So you save a couple of bucks. It is so milky. Yeah, $22.46 if you do subscribe and save. So you wow. save a couple more dollars that way. It's freaking delicious. <laughs> Number, of, oh, if you're interested in this mug. It's super cute. There is a link on the website to purchase it. And this mug is $15. And I am, this is a nice size mug because adding the water, only half full. Yeah, you can never judge like mugs by our mugs. Our mugs are inappropriately large because I drink a tremendous amount of coffee. But if you drink a normal human being amount, then this would be the perfect mug. And I'm always drawn to these it's sort of- It's a 12 ounce mug. Like camping style look right. to it. But it's ceramic, so you can't put it in the microwave. Exactly. Number five, would we recommend it? I'm so excited they made it. Honestly, like when you first set this down and you're like, there's not a keto flavor, they're going into drinks. I was like, man. Do what you do best. Should, exactly. <laughs> but, 
but they did this well. But they did it so awesome. I think they just waited because, again, they have been around for many years now. Mm -hmm. So they waited until they could get it done correctly. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. I will definitely be placing an order for this. It tastes delicious. You can only and have one. You think about Which one would our you get? camping trips. Like, oh, oh yeah. how awesome is this gonna All be? All you need is water. I don't know if I can go down to one. I Okay, if I can only purchase one. You're, you're holding a gun one. to my head. I can only <laughs> get don't one. Do that. I'm honestly going vanilla spice latte. Me too. Because it's unique. It tastes delicious and creamy. And like I said, I think that this has got a better taste and I know Chris is gonna kill me. Fortunately, he's friends with John. Yeah. But um, I have other ways that I can have a hot chocolate. That's so unique. So unique. It and it's I mean, and it's awesome. Now, obviously, if you can't have cinnamon or something like that, yeah. you're not gonna be able to go that way. But you won't be upset. If you like a little bit of spice and not like overly spiced, but if you miss chai lattes, that chai kind latte. Of stuff, that's the one to go with. This is it. And again, I cannot believe we haven't added almond milk or you know, macadamia nut milk, no milk in here. There's no heavy cream in here. We're just, it's just this and water and I cannot believe how it turned I out. I think this is the first product that we actually did a review on and finished on camera. Serious, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm nursing mine. I'm nursing it because I like don't want it to go away. But um, now for kids, if you're trying to, you know, what are you gonna grab for them? They I won't know. I would, well, I would do the hot chocolate. I would yeah. do the hot chocolate to them because this tastes like an adult beverage in the very best way. Yeah, but they're not gonna know that you're not giving them any sugar. That's Absolutely. true. Absolutely, if you have ch kids, grandkids, you need to order this stuff. Hot chocolate. ASAP. Link is down in the description. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist of reviews. I'm gonna leave a link for that right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we taste something brand spanking new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.